Hey gorgeous. Shorter video this week because not as much happened. It's been busy. I worked <laughs> I worked yesterday, Saturday, and then I worked again today, Sunday. I actually babysat my flower girls today though. I hadn't seen them for a while so that was nice. Although it was very funny because I had my hair up in a ponytail like this and I first get there and they say, wow, you look pretty. And then five minutes later they say like, oh, you should take your ponytail out. <laughs> Because I'm used to seeing me with my hair down. It's very funny how honest five-year-olds can be. So this week, wedding related, we didn't do too much. We practiced a dance move that my friend sent us, which is cool. She sent some more, so I gotta try and actually work out choreography instead of just practicing one move and not knowing where it's gonna go. But hey, we can do it, so that's neat. I guess sort of wedding related. I went to the ortho and I got my refinement trays and I was hoping there'd be 16 but there were 27, so I will not be done before the wedding, which I sort of expected. It will end up probably being less than that because four of the trays are passive trays, which means they don't do anything. And the three at the end are overcorrection trays, which I'm assuming I may or may not need because they were labeled a little weirdly than all the other ones. So that might be something where if I finish, um, they might have me do overcorrection trays instead of the passive. I'm not really sure. I didn't actually look at all of the trays until I got home, so I'll have to ask my ortho at my next appointment. But I did, they did reassure me that I can get all of my attachments taken off, which is great because I don't, hold on, I'm going to do a little close up. They changed the attachments, so now I have two on this tooth and two on this tooth. I used to just have one attachment on this tooth, but all the ones on my bottom teeth are gone, which, you know, you can't see anyway, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter, but... They just changed up how things went in my mouth to fix how my bite is. And honestly, that's important because, like I said, one side closes and the other side doesn't. So it will be nice to have my teeth, you know, actually chomp together on this side of my mouth. So it'll be worth it in the end. It's just, it would have been nice to be done. But I know also, even when I'm done, I'll still have to wear retainers full time for a while. So I'd still have to do with retainers on my wedding day regardless. It'd be nice if I didn't have to, but... That's just kind of how it goes. If I'd done this, you know, a few months sooner, then oh well. Can't change the past. And I'll just work with what I got. Another thing we did is, so I mentioned I went to my parents' house a couple weeks ago and I tried on my mom's dress. We looked at her old wedding pictures and it was super fun. So I decided to ask Jake's parents for the same sort of thing. You know, I asked Jake first because it might be weird if I just ask his family. But his parents were super cool with it. And so we went over to their house and looked through their wedding album. And also, um, we talked about Mini Moon a little bit, and Jake wanted to do a sort of road trip around Lake Superior and then stop where our friends are getting married. I think I might have mentioned that already. But his parents also, they did that as a honeymoon. So not only do we look at their wedding album, but we looked at their honeymoon album. They, she'd also, his mom had also made an album of like all the like receipts of where they'd stayed and pictures of where they went. So now we have more ideas of places to go on our little mini moon, and I'm excited about that, and Jake's excited about that. And it's actually nice because it's gotten my mind off the wedding a little bit, and now I'm like a little more excited for the honeymoon part of it than the wedding part of it, which is probably more normal than I think it is. Because I'm, I'm just like, oh man, like after this big party with all these people, me and Jake are just going to like hang out, just the two of us, and go strolling around. It's going to be great. Even though it sort of made me a lot more lax. Like I said, we didn't do much wedding stuff besides that this week. So I'm just like, oh no, we really need to, you know, do something about our centerpieces that I'm not touching and figure out some of these big... There's not a whole lot of big details left. It's a lot of little stuff, but it still needs to be done. Like, the center... I need 28 centerpieces for 28 tables and we're just like, eh. <laughs> it's like, that will take a while. I should maybe work on that. And hopefully... We get more accomplished in the next week. That's we're also just sort of busy because we need to maybe this room will look a little cleaner because we need to clean this out. We're having a land party. Jake loves to host land parties and we haven't for a while because of reasons. So we're gonna have our first land party this next weekend and we need to yeah just clean stuff up and make it so people can actually stay the night if they want to because we do like a whole weekend thing. And we're very excited, but now it's going to be a whole lot of cleaning. So I don't know, maybe that will help us clean up our wedding bottles out of the, out of the shower. <laughs> so people can use it if they need to. But that's all for this week. So I'll see you in another video.